Storm Tracker weather starts now with Chief Forecaster Bob McGuire. Oh, that's right, and good evening, everybody. We're going to start off tonight with a cool picture from Loretta Hurley. Of course, remember a few days ago, we had a little bit of fog in our area. I think it was just yesterday, right? We'll take a look at this. There must be a little fog in the valley there as well. Loretta took a picture of it, and that's the way it looked, I think, over there by uh, probably Big Timber, I believe. Meanwhile, take a look at this shot. This comes to us from Lynn Richardson. I'm standing in the way of something. This is called the cold moon. It's the last full moon of the 2020, and it's uh, rising up there, I think, over there by, uh, I believe it was by Powell tonight. And boy, cool looking shot. And then right over here, can you see this? That's a bald eagle just sitting on the tree there, just watching that old moon rise. When, thanks for sending that in, buddy. Meanwhile, here's the way things are shaping up in the Billings area tonight. Not a bad night for us with clear skies. It's starting to get a little chilly, though. 25 degrees. Our wind is out of the southwest of 12 miles per hour, but that's just enough wind to keep from that fog redeveloping. So right now, you notice our humidity is 55%. Our temperature feels like temperature feels like 14 degrees out there with the wind chill. Meanwhile, take a look at this. Our high temp today topped out at 38. Your average high, 35. The record is 61 back in 1999. The record low is 25 below zero back in uh, 1968. And when it comes to precipitation, nothing new to add to the totals today. So we're still a little bit behind average for the month and a little bit behind average for the year. That sunset today again was about a minute later than yesterday at 438. And around the region, our current temps have started to cool off. Look at Butte, five degrees right now into the single digits teens and 20s out in the west. Teens across the high line, and in some cases the low teens and tens. 25 of Billings right now for one of your warmer spots. But Cutbank is one of the hot spots right now. They are at 26 degrees. And as you can see, our reported highs today, mostly 20s and 30s, no 40s here. But still, it was a little bit better than what we had yesterday. And as you'll see here, uh, uh, we still have some windy conditions to talk about. A wind advisory starting tomorrow morning for the Beartooth Foothills from 6 a.m. to uh, uh, Wednesday to 6 a.m. Thursday. Look for 60 mile per hour winds there. And if that isn't enough, up here, look at that. That's some snow, one to three inches of snow expected up in the northwest corner of the state. That starts at 5 a.m. and goes till 5 a.m. on Thursday. Meanwhile, you can see the snow already starting to make its way into that area. But back here east of the divide, we've got clear skies tonight, just cloudy skies rolling into the west. We're kind of in between weather disturbances. We had the one big storm that moved into the Iowa area around that low pressure cell. That continues to move away from us. Your next system moving on shore right now, but instead of coming straight into Montana, we think it's going to come in and just kind of curve a little bit, move in towards Idaho, maybe produce some scattered snow in western Montana and eventually drop on down into Wyoming. So let's check it out on our surface map. There's the high pressure, mild, condition, mild conditions here. High continues to move across our area tonight. Then tomorrow, here comes your snow moving into northwestern Montana. That's where we have that winter weather advisory that the whole thing starts dropping down into Idaho and parts of Wyoming, but comes close to the Billings area, but doesn't quite blow on in here. So we kind of miss that stuff on Thursday. In the meantime, how much snow are we going to get? Most of the heavier stuff. We might see some light snow by Monday in Billings, but light snow over by uh, Livingston, one to two inches over in Bozeman. The big stuff, four to six inches expected up there by Kalispell. In the meantime, tonight, our temps cool back down to the teens and 20s around the region with partly cloudy skies for tomorrow. We're right back up into the 30s in some cases, 29 at Red Lodge, but 40s back here. So we're finally starting to warm up a little bit. And for the Billings area tonight, we're going to cool down to 22 with partly cloudy skies. I think we're there right now. And then for tomorrow, back up to 39 degrees, partly cloudy, 43 on Thursday on New Year's Eve. On Friday, New Year's Day, 43, but mostly sunny skies. You like those 40s, we keep them right on through the weekend and mid 40s right into Monday and Tuesday with mostly sunny skies. That's a look at the weather. Let's go back to Russ.